A countryman was once going out to plough with a pair of oxen. When he got to the field, both the animal's horns began to grow and went on growing and when he wanted to go home, they were so big that the oxen could not get through the gateway for them. By good luck, a butcher came by just then and he delivered them over to him and made the bargain in this way, that he should take the butcher um, a measure of turnip seed, and then the butcher was to count him out a braben, a, a braben tailor for every seed. I call that well solid. The peasant now went home and carried the measure of turnip seed to him on his back. On the way, however, he lost one seed out of the bag. The butcher paid him justly as agreed on. And if the peasant had not lost the seed, he would have had one tailor the more. One tailor the more. In the meantime, when he went on his way back, the seed had grown into a tree which reached up to the sky. Then thought the peasant, As thou hast a chance, thou must just see what the angels are doing up there above, and for once have them before thine eyes. So he climbed up and saw that the angels above were threshing goats and looked on. And while he, was, while he was thus watching them, he observed that the tree on which he was standing was beginning to totter. He peeped down and saw that someone was just going to cut it down. If I were to fall down from hence it would be a bad thing, thought he. In his necessity, he did not know how to save himself better than by taking a chaff off the goats which lay there in heaps and twisting a rope off and twisting a rope of it. He likewise snatched a hoe and a flail which were laying about in heaven, and let himself down by the rope. But he came down on the earth exactly in the middle of a deep, deep, hole. So it was a real piece of luck that he had bought, that he had brought the hoe, for he hoed himself a flight of a flight of steps with it, and mounted up and took the flail with him as a token of his truth, so that no one could have any doubt of his story. And that was the flail from heaven. Next time, the king's two, sorry, the two king's children, until then, bye bye.